Hello children! Welcome once again in our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. In this video children, we're going to talk about multiplication of decimals. We're going to discuss two skills and that is multiplication by a whole number and multiplication by a decimal number with one to two decimal places. Are you ready now? Let's proceed! Before we proceed to our online discussion, let's have a review on the parts of multiplication number sentence. Let us have this number sentence. 5 times 4 is equal to 20, wherein 5 is what we call the multiplier, meaning the number by which another number is multiplied. The digit 4 is our multiplicand, meaning the number to be multiplied. Take note, children, multiplicand and multiplier are also known as factors. 20 here is our product meaning the result and our answer in multiplication operation. Multiplication by a whole number. Let us have this multiplication number sentence, 0 and 9 tenths multiplied by 5. The first step in multiplying decimal number is to multiply the decimal numbers like a whole number. So let us multiply 5 times 9 we will get the answer of 45. But take note, children, this is not yet the final answer. We need to follow the second step. The second step is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors. In our multiplicand, we have one decimal place. In our multiplier, we have zero decimal place. The third step is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors and this should be equal to the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the product. So let us get the total number of decimal places in our factors. We will have one decimal place. In this case, we will have only one decimal place in our product and the decimal point is located after the digit 5. We're going to move the decimal point one place to the left like this and we will put the decimal point between 4 and 5. Fourth step is to add 0 if necessary but in this case we will no longer need to add 0. Therefore the final answer is 4 and 5 tenths. Let us have another example in multiplication by a whole number. Let's have this number sentence. 0 and 7 tenths multiplied by 12. The first step in multiplication of decimal is to multiply the decimal numbers like a whole number. So let us multiply. 2 times 7, that will give us 14. 1 times 7, that will give us 7. 14 and 7 here are what we call the partial products. What shall we do with the partial products? We're going to add this and we will get the answer of 84. But wait children, this is not yet the final answer because we need to follow the second step. And the second step is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors. In our multiplicand, we have one decimal place. In our multiplier, we have zero decimal place. The third step is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors and this should be equal to the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the product. So let us get the total number of decimal places in our factors and we have one decimal place. Since we only have one decimal place in our factors, the product should have also one decimal place. But first, we need to locate the decimal point. The decimal point is after 4. And we're going to move the decimal point one place 
going to the left, like this. Therefore, the decimal point is between 8 and 4. The fourth step is to add 0 if necessary, but in this case, we don't need to add 0. Therefore, the final answer is 8 and 4 tenths. Next is multiplication by a decimal with 1 to 2 decimal places. Let's take this multiplication number sentence. 0 and 9 tenths multiplied by 1 and 2 tenths. First step is to multiply the decimal numbers like a whole number. So let us multiply. 2 times 9, that is equal to 18. 1 times 9, that is equal to 9. 18 and 9 here are what we call partial products. What shall we do? We're going to add the partial product and we will get the answer of 108. This is not yet the final answer because we need to proceed to step 2. Step 2 is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors. Here, in our multiplicand, we have one decimal place, while in our multiplier, we have one decimal place. Third step is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors, and this should be equal to the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the product. So let us take the sum or the total of the decimal places in our factors. We have two decimal places. In short, we will have also two decimal places in our product. First, let us locate the location of the decimal point. The decimal point is after the digit 8. So we're going to move two places to the left like this. One, two. So the decimal point is between the digits 1 and 0. The fourth step is to add 0 if necessary. In this case, we don't need to add 0. Therefore, the final answer is 1 and 8 hundredths. Here's another example of multiplication by a decimal with 1 to 2 decimal places. Let's take this multiplication number sentence. 2 and 22 hundredths multiplied by 1 and 12 hundredths. The first step is to multiply the decimal numbers like a whole number. So let us multiply. 2 times 222, that will give us the answer of 444. 1 times 222, that will give us 1, 222. 1 times 222, that will give us 222. 444, 222, and 222 are what we call the partial products. What are we going to do? We're going to add this partial product to get the answer of 24,864. But this is not yet the final answer because we need to proceed to step number 2. Step number 2 is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors. In our multiplicand, we have two decimal places. In our multiplier, we have two decimal places. The third step is to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors. And it should be equal to the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the product. So let's get the total number of decimal places in our factors. We have four decimal places. Therefore, we will also have four decimal places in our product. But first, let us need to locate the position of the decimal point. The decimal point is after the digit 4. We're going to move the decimal point four places to the left like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the decimal point is between the digit 2 and 4. The fourth step is to add 0 if necessary, but in our case, in this example particularly, there's no need to add 0. 
Therefore, the final answer is 2 and 4,864 ten thousands. Children, remember this. How to multiply decimals with factors up to two decimal places? First, multiply the decimal numbers like a whole number. Second, count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors. Third, the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the factors is equal to the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the product. And lastly, add zero if necessary. Children, let us apply what you have learned earlier by answering the practice exercise. Direction Place the decimal point in the product. You will be given a few seconds to answer each number. Are you ready to start? Let's proceed. Number 1 0 and 7 tenths multiplied by 0 and 5 tenths. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 35 hundredths. Number 2, 0 and 96 hundredths multiplied by 0 and 53 hundredths. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 5,088 ten thousands. Number 3, 0 and 4 tenths multiplied by 0 and 7 tenths. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 28 hundredths. Number 4, 0 and 8 tenths multiplied by 0 and 6 hundredths. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 48 thousandths. Lastly, number 5, 0 and 6 hundredths multiplied by 0 and 3 hundredths. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 18 ten thousandths. That's all for now, children. See you soon in our next online learning journey. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.